If it's warm out and you want to take your dog for a swim, let's talk about some different ways that you can be finding pools that are available to take your dogs for a swim in the warmer months. Now, one of my favorites is actually an app. In fact, two of my favorites are actually apps where you can rent people's pools. These are people who have pools in their backyard or on their property that allow people to rent them by the hour or by the day to come do events, to just go swimming in the summer months, and some of these also allow you to bring your dogs and let them swim in the pool. I recently used an app called Swimply where I was able to find a pool. It was an hour away. We didn't have a lot close to me, but it is a newer app. So there's not a ton that's necessarily local, depending on where you live. And I was able to take my dogs to an in-ground pool where they were allowed to swim inside of the pool. We got to go and they got to run around. It was a fenced in property, so they weren't going to escape. They were protected from some of the other animals. They happened to have chickens there, so they couldn't get to those. The dogs were in the house and so they weren't bothering us. And it was very private space for my girls to learn how to swim. All I had to do was go in and indicate that I wanted the pet friendly versions. Now, as you were going through Swimply, you wanna make sure you've indicated you want pet friendly and then check the listings to make sure it's not pets on the property, but not in the pool. Some of them will allow them in the pool and those are the ones you want to book. Now, outside of Swimply, there's something like Sniff Spot. This is one that I recently learned about, and these are people who are renting out their usually fenced in, but sometimes it's just big property locations for you to take your dogs to run, to play, and sometimes swim. Now, this is not pool focused like the other app is, but it does give you the opportunity to search for pools that dogs can swim in. Sniff Spot is specifically for areas to take your dog to play. So this is kind of like a dog park without the other dogs. You get to go to a property and you get to throw a ball, run around, hike in different places. Sometimes you can like have a barbecue and grill. And this is also an opportunity for you to find a pool to take your dog in. So you go in, you can plug in your address and you can see who is local to you. If you're traveling, both of these apps will work as well. So if you're going on vacation and your dogs can't go into the pool there, but you wanna have a family event, you have the ability to look something up locally and see what you can access from there. And again, they're rented by the hour. So you can say one hour, two hours. If you wanna have an event, it could be a couple of hours. I did one hour for my dogs because I was solely going there to allow them to learn how to swim and to learn how to jump in the pool and do all the things. So I did one hour that was perfect for me. They did not need more than that. They would have been tired with more than that. But if I had brought my sister and my niece and the family along, we might have gone a little bit longer and just had the dogs sit outside of the pool when they got tired. Now, another way that you can be doing this is by speaking to your local tourism boards. A lot of these people will know of locations that you can be taking your dog. Some parks do allow you to take dogs in the pool or some parks will have special day events where you can take your dogs in the pool. One of my local pools is advertising uh, about a month from now, there's a day where you can bring your dog for $15 and go swimming in the public community pool. This is gonna be an opportunity for you to bring them on a day that's not typical for what they are doing. They don't typically allow dogs, but it's a special occasion. So talk to your tourism boards. They are going to know of locations that are dog friendly. They're going to know if maybe there are some Airbnbs or some VRBOs that are going to allow you to bring your dogs to the Verbo so that you can have them swimming with you. They might know of different pools that allow it or community access to things. There are some parks that might have things, but they're going to give you a pretty good idea of locations that are going to be dog accessible. And that way you can have those conversations. Now, another way that you can be doing this, of course, is to look for local influencers, especially pet influencers. Go to their pages, go through their social media, see where they're taking their pets. These are going to be really good opportunities for you then to follow in their footsteps and go to these locations as well so your puppy can have their swim day too. Now, keep in mind as you're doing this, you want to be aware that if it is a public location, there will probably be other people there. So if it's like a public community pool having a doggy day, there's going to be other people. If you have a reactive dog or if you have dogs that doesn't want to be around with the dogs or you're just nervous, don't go to that event. If you do want something that's a bit more private, rent something. These are pretty cheap. I think the one that I did was like $20 for the hour. So it was pretty cheap. Some of them are less, some of them are more, depending on what they have. Some of these pools that you can rent are just like basic in-ground pools. Some of them are above ground pools that you can visit. Some of them have like water slides and waterfalls and like the works. So just go through them and see what you have available to you, but be mindful of the environment. Now, as I went to my uh, swim play pool this week, there are a couple things that I wanted to point out. You wanna make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. So make sure everything is fenced in, make sure there's nowhere that the dogs can get out, keep them on a leash if you need to, whatever. You also wanna be aware of plant life. Some of these people do not think 
all the way through some of the plants. And so if your dog is prone to eating flowers, check them, check them before you go. The place that I went had flowers growing all of the fence and it was gorgeous, but I had to make sure to keep my puppies who didn't know better away from it so that they didn't eat anything that could potentially be toxic. I don't know what flowers are or aren't, so it's a blanket no for me, but you gotta be careful of things like that. Always be careful of drop-offs in pools, especially if the pools are a bit cloudy. The pool I went in, they had just rebalanced the chemicals after being away on vacation. It was cloudy and I couldn't see and I hit the uh, slope way earlier than I thought it would be in a pool. And I took a little bit of a tumble while holding my puppy. So be aware of where that cutoff is and that drop-off. Drop-offs tend to be sharper, especially in pools and pretty slippery. So be mindful of that. Be aware of the location around you so that you're not disturbing anything and nothing's going to get in to disturb you. You know the drill with this and you just gotta be careful and mindful of where your pet goes and how you are engaging with them. So take stock before you walk in. If you have the ability to leave the puppy in the car for two minutes to go in and check the area first, that's a great thing to do. I like to take my dogs in on a leash with their harnesses so that I don't have to worry about anything. And then once we're there and everything's good, I'll let them off and let them run and we'll do the whole thing. Take towels take plastic for the back of your car if you don't want to dry them off before you go and make sure that you are you know bringing the necessary things just in case anything happens emergency kits for your dogs anything that could potentially help should they eat something they're not supposed to or get into something they're not supposed to have that emergency kit with you if you want details on what to have in your emergency kit let me know down below and we'll make a video on it but this is a really great opportunity for you to take your puppy swimming in the warmer months teach them how to swim teach them not to be afraid of water do things even if they're not swimming dogs it's a great opportunity for you to go have a family event or a picnic or whatever and have your dog on property with you while you're there but along for more things that you can do with your dog while you're traveling and training tips on puppies and watch my girls grow up as we are transitioning from puppy into adult dog stages. We'll see you in the upcoming videos.